When working with corridors, you may need to add additional targets to control the transitions horizontally and vertically within the assemblies themselves. An example of this would be to add a bus turnout lane, such as the one shown in this drawing. Before adding the additional target, zoom and pan to the assembly. This is a standard primary road full section. Select one of these subassemblies. Then on the ribbon in the Modify Subassembly tab, click Subassembly Properties to open the Subassembly Properties dialog box. And switch to the Parameters tab. Here you can see that it has a width of 12 feet. Click the Subassembly Help button and scroll down within the help screen until you see the area called target parameters. Notice that there's an option with target for the lane, which means that you can stretch the lane horizontally to match an alignment polyline or feature line. Close the help window and then click cancel to close the subassembly properties dialog. Zoom and pan back to the area of the corridor containing the bus turnout lane. To add an additional target, select the corridor. Then on the ribbon in the Modify panel, click Edit Targets. At the command line, the program prompts you to select a region to edit. This region is highlighted with a blue line. When you click to select the region, the Target Mapping dialog box opens. In the dialog box, under With or Offsets Targets, on the Width Alignment parameter, click in the Object Name column. In the Set Width on Offset Target dialog, you can se either select a specific alignment in the box, pick an alignment from the drawing, or select alignments by the layer they are on. Under Select Alignments, choose RD-1-Left-0.000 and then click Add to add that as the target. Then click OK to close the dialog and click OK again to close the target mapping dialog. The corridor is immediately rebuilt with the lane widened to match this alignment. Zoom in so that you can see the transition points. Notice that the corridor does not follow this line exactly in all areas because there are some curves within that transition alignment. Press Escape to end the command and then select the corridor again. Then on the ribbon, in the Modify Region panel, click Edit Frequency. In the drawing, pick the region. In the Frequency to Apply Assemblies dialog, you can see that the program is only sampling every 25 feet of long tangents. Also, look down at the bottom of the list and you can see that additional offset target parameter. At offset, target geometry points is set to yes. That is good because it is adding additional cross sections that are at tighter than the 25 foot interval. Expand the drop down and change the setting to no so that you can see what happens when you turn this off. Then click OK. Now the drawing shows that the transition actually looks worse than it previously did. On the ribbon, click edit frequency again and select the region. In the Frequency to Apply Assemblies dialog, change the At Offset Target Geometry Points parameter back to Yes. Under Offset Target, there is also an option labeled Adjacent to Offset Target Start Slash End. Change that option to Yes as well. Since there are curves in the tangent line, expand the Along Offset Target Curves dropdown and choose At an Increment. Then change the Curve Increment value to five feet. Click OK to close the dialog. Now you can see the additional corridor sections added along the transition target line. This creates a much more accurate model of the corridor and it follows the transition much more closely.